Hey everyone and welcome to this first Victoria 2 gameplay tutorial on the Iron Workshop. As the Iron Workshop moves to annex Victoria into its domain, I figured it would be a good idea to create this short video explaining how you can optimize your Victoria 2 experience. Victoria 2 is a pretty old game, so running it on modern computers can be a bit more challenging. So this quick guide will give you all the steps to make your vanilla Victoria 2 experience as pleasant as possible. Let's get to it. First of all, do not play the game without a house divided and heart of darkness. Besides adding a host of new features, these DLCs also feature a host of quality of life improvements that will make your life much easier when playing. So make sure to get these before you start playing Victoria 2. Disabling that annoying intro movie. One of the most annoying things about starting Victoria 2 is the intro movie the game insists on loading, which you have to skip manually every time. This can be solved easily by deleting the movies folder from the game. Let's see how to do that. To stop the intro movie from playing, first of all locate your Victoria 2 folder. If you're using Steam, that will be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Victoria 2. If you're using a GOG version, that'll be in the folder where you installed the game. I can't really know where it is, you'll have to find it. Once you've located your Victoria 2 folder, inside of it there will be a folder called Movies. So this is the folder that we need to delete. So all you need to do is to right click, then click on delete, and that's it. The movies are now deleted and will no longer be playing when you start Victoria 2. Set the right resolution. Victoria 2 has no support for UI scaling, which means that often it can be hard to read the various information presented in the game, specifically if you are playing on a 2K monitor and above. A solution to this is to reduce the game resolution to 1920 by 1080 which seems to be the best resolution to play the game at. The only downside to this is that you will have to play in full screen mode, which won't allow you to skip in and out of the game quickly like window mode. Let's see how that can be done. Alright, so let me show you what are the best settings in terms of resolution that I have for the game. So if we'll go to options and then to video, the resolution I have is 1920 by 1080. It's also on full screen. You have to have it on full screen in order for the text to show up properly. I've also increased the refresh rate because the default one is too low in my opinion. And you can also increase the multi-sample level just to improve the graphics just a bit more. And after you have these settings, you can click on apply. Now, if you're changing settings, you will have to restart the game in order for them to take effect. Change the sound effect volume. The sound effects in Victoria 2 can sometimes be overwhelming, so reducing their volume is highly recommended to spare both your ears and sanity. Let's see what the best settings are. In terms of sound effects, the best settings I found is these settings, so you need to put the master volume at the highest level. Effect volume can be about a third of that, and music can be about 50%. These settings will make sure that the effects are not too loud and are not disruptive to the gameplay. Download the Victoria 2 Vanilla Enhancement Suit. This last step is not mandatory and is a bit of shameless self-promotion, but this is something that I have created to make my own experience better, so hopefully it will also help you to enjoy Victoria 2 a bit more. I have created a small mod for Victoria 2 that makes small changes to the game without altering the gameplay. This mod makes some localization adjustments, changes some of the annoying sound effects, and makes the various interfaces transparent so that you can see what is going on in the world map even when you have an interface open. Let's see how you can download and install this mod. So let's see how you can download and install the Victoria 2 Vanilla Enhancement Suit. One of the most off-putting things about Victoria 2 and using mods with it is that it doesn't have built-in Steam Workshop support. So the way to install mods is a bit more complex, but it's really not that much of a big deal. So let's see how we can do this. I will have a link to the mod in the description of this video, so go ahead and click that link. And once you click it, you will end up in the ModDB page. 
In here you will need to go to files and in here you'll find two versions of the mod. There is a light version and a regular one. Now you should use the light version if you're planning to play Victoria 2 with other big mods like HPM or Pop Demand Mode. And this version will work with those mods as well. If you're not playing other mods, you can use the regular version, which also makes some localization adjustments. Or you can download both of these versions and just use them whenever it suits you. Let's go ahead and download the regular version. So I'll just click here, then I'll click on download now. It can take a couple of seconds for the download to begin. I'm going to save this file inside of my Victoria 2 folder. So I'll go to Victoria 2, then I'll go inside the mod folder and I'll just save it here. Once that's done, we'll need to extract the files from the file that we just downloaded. Okay, so inside of your Victoria 2 folder, you will have this VES or VES Lite file. All you need to do is to open this file. Now this file is an archive and you will need a program called WinRAR in order to open it. If you don't have WinRAR, I will have a link to that in the description of this video as well. So once you open the file, the next step is to just take these two files. You obviously don't need how to install, that is why you have this video, and just drag them in here. And that's it, your mod has now been activated. Now all you need to do is to go to the Victoria 2 launcher and select the mod and click on Start Victoria 2. That said, the mod is activated and you will now be playing Victoria 2 with this mod. So these are all the tips I have for improving your Victoria 2 experience. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel to be notified of new gameplay tutorials when they're posted. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.